What is up guys, this is Jeff Benjamin with iDownload Blog. In this video, we're gonna walk through Sung. This is, of course, the OXO inspired, the heavily OXO inspired jailbreak tweak from Charlie Hewitt that is updated for iOS 9 devices and it works really well. Let's check it out. So this is Sung, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, it's a control center slash app switcher fusion, I guess you could say, very much like OXO 3, the old OXO 3, not the new OXO 3 that's been updated for iOS 9, but it, this is very much like OXO 3 for iOS 8. And as you can see, you can swipe up from the bottom of the screen to invoke the app switcher. Of course, you can use your double uh, press of the home button to do so as well. And you have all your app switcher cards here that look like the iOS 8 style card. You can swipe up to dismiss. You can swipe down to bring them into view like this. And that's really, really cool. Really smooth as well, as you can see even this early in the beta, because this is, of course, a beta version of Song. Now, let's go into the preferences. Let's find the preference panel for Song. There it is, and you'll see these three options here, multi-center, hot corners, and other options. Again, even named similarly to Oxo 3, the multi-center, that is, and the hot corners. Uh, you have the kill switch at the top, you have the ability to override the CC gesture. That mean, basically means you just swipe up to invoke the app switcher. Uh, you have all the different sections that you can enable here on the fly for the top and bottom section. So I can drag this up here dynamically and it dynamically updates just like that. So you see the music controls right there appears on the fly, no resprings needed. That's one of the best things about this tweak is that you can adjust them, rearrange them, and you can see that I just rearranged that, put the airplay controls below, the default media controls, and they appeared right there on the fly. No resprings or reboots or anything required. It's all on the fly, and that is, again, one of the best parts of this tweak, and that works for both the bottom and top sections. And the app switcher cards adjust dynamically to fit within these sections here. So for instance, you see how they look now, see how small they are. They're not really small, they're about average size, but watch what happens when I pull down all these cards here, or all these little bottom sections. And now when I swipe up to invoke the app switcher, notice the cards are almost full screen because there's nothing squishing them. Um, there's no bottom sections to accommodate for. So the app switcher cards update correspondingly to how many sections you have in both the top and bottom. So you see there, app switcher cards are really small because there's lots of stuff in the bottom section. And when I update that, it expands or contracts accordingly. So again, I know I'm kind of ranting on this, but this is really one of the coolest parts of this tweak and one of the reasons I really like it. Now there are also additional options you can find, for instance, a little small scroll view. You can scroll on that and access additional content there. Uh, so that is one neat little thing. Each of these sections has, well, some of them at least, have their own little customizations that you can make. For instance, this one allows you to add additional stuff to the scroll view. You can scroll vertically, horizontally. You can change all that within uh, this little preference panel here. And um, again, there's just tons of things you can do with Sung. It's really ridiculous how you can uh, adjust these settings, the top and bottom settings to make these uh, app switcher cards expand and contract. Now there are other options here, for instance, the icons. So the icon style, you see this is the default style, the icon beneath the app switcher card, but you can change it to have an overlay view uh, so that makes the app switcher card a little bit bigger because the uh, icons are not taking up any space. And then you have just actually hidden icons. I prefer it to be hidden. I don't need an icon to know what apps I'm using, but I know some of you will like having the icons there. There's also hot corners and surprise, the hot corners work very much like OXO 3. Uh, you see the running theme here, except the hot corners actually work here. Um, Whereas Oxo 3 for iOS 9, you saw the video, hot corners don't work that well yet uh, with that latest update. So that's a good thing here for Sung. And there's also the right action. You can change those dynamically. Um, but as you saw there, it defaults to going home when you swipe up from the right corner uh, when an app's open, or you can lock the device when you swipe up from the home screen. And there are other options, lots of other options here. You have the swipe up action on the home screen card that you can change. So right now it defaults to showing the action menu. So when I swipe up, you get this little menu that pops up here that lets you do all sorts of things like shut down, reboot, safe mode, etc. You can make it just completely kill all apps as well. And uh, speaking of that, 
There is a whitelist that you can set up to keep apps going when you kill all apps. There's also, oops, didn't mean to do that. Let's go back. <laughs> There's also this blacklist, which we'll talk about right now. Um, the blacklist, basically what that does is it prevents you from using the hot corners within whichever app you enable or whichever app you blacklist. So I'm, if I blacklist settings, notice the hot corners are no longer working either corner neither works but when I turn the blacklist off hot corners work again right all right so let's talk about this one right here I got a little ahead of myself here but you can swipe to switch apps using songs little swipe to switch app option now this doesn't work perfectly yet you can see it kind of locked up my device so keep that in mind it is beta uh, but when it does work it works really good it's pretty smooth just swiping between applications like this works really well when it does work again this is beta so don't expect everything to work perfectly, but I am extremely impressed with what Sung has brought to the table, even with its beta version. This is by far the best app switcher tweak that I've used for iOS 9. Um, you know, I know there's other tweaks. Obviously there's Oxo, there's Lilac. Uh, there's some others out there, but this one has all the bells and whistles. It has the stability, even in a beta version, it has the looks. It has the dynamic updates where you don't need to perform a bunch of resprings and it just works. So ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think about Sung down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.